this issue we had in Clinton County, that's one of the real serious ones. So I think that would have ended up, I think we might have been able to save a life. A Lansing lawmaker wants to change the language in Amber Alerts, and he cites a case from Clinton County last year as the reason. State Representative Graham Filler says if this law had been enacted, then a two-year-old boy might still be alive. It would expand the current Amber Alert system. The House bill as written would mean an Amber Alert would be issued if a child with special needs goes missing, regardless if there's evidence of an abduction. Amber Alerts in the state are very specific. Michigan State Police issues the alert if they believe a child under 18 has been abducted and is in imminent danger. Republican State Representative Graham Filler says he wants to change that. We think it would be used very sparsely and only in the most extreme situations but might lead to these vulnerable individuals being found. Filler drafted this bill after a tragic case last year in Clinton County. A two-year-old who was nonverbal went missing. The Clinton County Sheriff's Office organized volunteers to search the area. Sadly, the little boy was found dead. One of the things that spoke to the heart of it and how to do better is four, maybe five individuals saw the young child with special needs wandering around. But because they had not been alerted that he was missing, then they did not know to report it. Right now, all requests for Amber Alerts are sent through Michigan State Police. If a request meets the specific criteria, the alert is dispatched to phones. Filler says that if this law is passed and enacted, it would possibly save lives. I'm seeing both Republicans and Democrats uh, understand um, maybe they have a family member with special needs and they understand the difficulty with communicating. In some cases, when a child has gone missing, some people in Michigan have questioned why an Amber Alert wasn't issued. Did you consider changing the language beyond just involving special needs children? So that's a really great question because that's that's honestly what I've been hearing more than anything, which is, hey, why don't you do a full review of whether Amber Alert is working in the state of Michigan? This bill is still in its very early stages and will be sent to a committee. Filler says this has sparked a conversation around the Amber Alert system and why it's very specific. He says that might be something to look into further to see if it's working here in Michigan.